Yeah, really glad to see you. We've, uh, of course, been using a lot of your cylinder heads, and you know, we use them for a reason. Uh, you're not the cheapest guy in town. No. We're not either. No. <laughs> <laughs> and we're uh, okay with that. Are you okay? Uh, oh, absolutely. <laughs> I found out a long time ago that cheap is cheap, and yeah. you get what you pay for exactly. it. Exactly, exactly. In this yeah. business, uh, you can't, in the game that you're playing here, you can't have too good a part. Right. It's just it's just yeah. a fact of life, and uh, we learned that a long, long time ago. And and our forte has been high quality, high, number one, high horsepower next, and we figured out how to get those two together right. to make these motors live, and the heads not fracture, and you know things such as that. It's just there's just a lot of things that go together, having the right valve combination material and so forth, and. Of course, working with great people like you, that's well, that's you. the main thing because, you know. Anybody can wreck your heads if any, they work anybody, <laughs> anybody can wreck them if they don't know what they're doing. Right. And uh, we try our best to help anybody that we can with information, but uh, we like to direct to people such as yourself, Borowski, uh Engines. And I send a lot of people your way. Yeah. And uh, especially if, you know, one of the things I ask them is, Who's your engine builder? Who's going to do it? Well, I don't really have one yet. Well, let me tell you where you need to go. And that's how I kind of do it. I would rather sell you castings, let you make the money off of it, let you make a great product, which you do, and uh, do it that way. Mm -hmm. I'm not in the engine building business. My history has been for a long, long time, but uh, I'm not one of the young bucks in the sport here, so uh, I've been around a long time at it. but. Uh, we know your reputation is so good. Uh, you're you're one of our best customers in the LS market. So well, thank you. Appreciate it, uh, that a lot. Uh, yeah, and actually, uh, we have a couple of examples uh, here today. Uh, so if uh, Tim can uh, scan the camera over here, we'll uh, look. We have the Katie sisters. We have uh, Marcus's car, which is a uh, eighth mile drag radial car with has solid all pro heads mm -hmm. and then uh, roll around to uh, uh, Ted's car which is a Bonneville land speed record car which has the standard you know, you know, typical water heads uh, for LS but uh, yeah Bonneville three mile over here Marcus eight mile uh, you know, the Katie sister on the left here has a little bit of a weight problem. She's over 5,000 pounds. Yeah, that's a little heavy. It's, <laughs> but, uh, it's hard to make go forward and it's hard to stop from going forward. That's <laughs> why they're doing it at Bonneville. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, so those, those uh, that's a water block and water head. The, everything on uh, Marcus's is solid. Mm -hmm. And of course, that, you know, kind of as you, as you mentioned, we get the porter castings from you and then we do a our own thing on it, uh, and, and typically we're using it's going to be in a boosted application. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, boost is a different animal than NA. Certainly is. Yeah, Certainly so is. And I remember when I visited you, and that's going back what about five, six years ago. It's probably been that long. I hate to say it's been that long, but it right, probably yeah. has been. But uh, yeah, so of course your NA uh, designs have the wing. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, you know, ours because they're boosted. Uh, that no, they don't need that wing. It's just a different animal, yeah. right? Yeah, it so, really uh, is, and it it's just how you direct the air into the chamber. Right, and, and what uh, what end you're trying to accomplish, mm -hmm. and you know, you're the, uh, for those you're really targeting a different market than we sure. serve. So yeah. it, it all works. Atmospheric out. pressure's got a lot to do with it, you know, and uh, you know we might at, at a hood scoop we might have just a little under one inch of pressure at 170 miles an hour you know these things are you know 70 70 at that, 70 PSI. Uh, yeah at, at that point so things change drastically <laughs> you know your your way of thinking is has, has got to change quite a bit you right. know but uh, typically some of the NA stuff you run higher rpms than you do because these things make so much torque and boost you know where an NA combination you're you're looking from Oh, what's it make from 8,800 to 105? Right. You know, well, you're stopping about 8,800. So you know, your ways of thinking is it becomes yeah. differently. But they still take reliability, strength, and a great product. You know, right. there's there's a lot of stuff out there from China right now that 
they're saying is even made in the U.S. and they're not. They're a $200 China copy. Right. And we hear a lot of that, oh man, my head split the full length, yeah. you know, and well. Well, actually, uh, I'm constantly getting bombarded with Chinese vendors who would like to sell me stuff. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, that's not where we are in the marketplace. Uh, right. You know, actually, you know, my son Ken is standing over there. You waved to him before. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And very often, uh, you know, what will happen is they'll... Uh, Customers will get on the phone with him and ask, "Well, what parts are you using on this?" And they'll go down and you know the list, and they'll go, you know, "Well, why are you using that?" Well, and they'll just click the, like the video that we did at your shop mm -hmm. and send it over, and uh, it will. Uh, yeah, he'll say, "Well, watch the video, then you'll know why we use all pro heads mm -hmm. because you did a great job explaining why." And you know, and I think uh, you know that is a perfect segue into like, well, yeah, and oh, and, but at the end of this the conversation, they hear all the major parts. Well, you're not. There's no cheap Chinese junk in there, right? That's right. Yeah, you no, know, no, 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 no. So that's their catch-all question. Yeah, but art. looking at why all pro heads are the best, yeah, you know, I think, uh, you know, Well, the first thing is you're a mom and pop shop. Literally. Right. Exactly. Okay. You know what's going on. You're keeping an eye on things because it's your stuff. Right. As opposed to, I think, uh, you know, a lot of the, you know, the big, big guys, it's parts yeah, is parts. It's, uh, and there's just, the companies are run by bean counters. Exactly. Worst possible thing that can happen. I mean, there's several here at the show. I'm not naming names, but they've ruined a lot of the mom and pop businesses. Some of these guys would roll over in their grave if they knew what was happening. Right. Uh, you know, and it's, it's just a shame because mm -hmm. people such as myself have given my life to what we do. And just like you, you, you put your heart and your soul into this. And, you know, Tim and, and, We're and all your son, in. we're all in, you know. Yeah. So uh, that's all extremely important, you know. it's uh, So... We put a lot of emphasis, like number one, when we started talking about using the best alloys possible. We use hip castings. Uh, well, all I that. think people don't know what hips is. Yeah. So it's, if you could explain, because you and I know how important that is, that they might not. Right. Uh, as far as hipping goes, there's several forms. There's lesser forms called Denzel, but we use a full hip. Which a full hip is after the casting is made. Hip being and hot, hot isostatic pressing. Pressing, right. And so these things are put in a big chamber. Some of these buildings are as tall as this ceiling because they've got relief valves in them that when they go off, the stuff could shoot out the top. But uh, the heads are brought up to an almost molten point, and then they're pressed with sometimes between 15,000 and 25,000 psi for an hour. And that takes and just compresses that. It makes it makes the head like a forging, right? Rather than a casting, right? So, in essence, and that, how how is the pressure applied? Uh, it's it's applied mechanically, you know, with big big vessels, and uh, it's it's almost an art. They won't even let you into some of these places. They don't want you to see P proprietary, what, propri totally proprietary. Uh, where we get ours done is very local. And uh, we know the guy that owns the place, and he takes great care of me. Right. He gets us in and out when we need to be. Uh, other people might say I should. I'm, that's why I'm not going to mention names. But he gets us in and gets us out. Right. And uh, I feel blessed because of that. Yeah. Now, uh, I think it's good for me to maybe jump in. The hip processing is critically important because what happens in any casting is if you cool that thing down uh, just the way it's normally done, the gr crystal grain structure in the metal doesn't have a chance to really align itself. And then the other thing is you have shrink voids. So they're actually holes in your head, mm -hmm. and some big, some small, some microscopic. Mm -hmm. uh, and so what will happen is like, and Bob mentioned forgings. Well, forging is a way to get the crystal and structure lined up, and you're doing it literally by right. pounding, yeah. you know, the uh, the hot piece of metal. Well, this is a way where, while it's still more malleable, to get that crystal structure the way you want it, eliminate the shrink voids that you're going to have in any kind of uh, you know, large casting like a head, and it actually shrinks 
the size. The, right. Yeah. The dimension is different because the crystal structure is tighter and there are no mm -hmm. holes. Right. And the better the casting is, the least shrink there is. You can take, let's say you can take a cylinder head that's a poor casting and you can hip it, you will change it so much that it might change the overall length to 20 inches, a quarter to three eighths of an inch. And then you know what you, you say, oh, oh, oh man, this, right. this casting, casting is, a train wreck. is a train wreck, you know. Right. And uh, I've seen that over the years. I mean, 25 years ago when we first... Well, I'm sure they're taking the best care in China so that that wouldn't happen, right? <laughs> oh, no, that, 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 no. And a lot of uh, a lot of Chinese stuff have an OE style water jacket in it, which is not good for racing purposes. You know, these these heads were basically designed for a motor with started out of 350 horsepower to 400 horsepower, and that's why the cooling issue is critical in some applications because they weren't they were designed for emissions to get the temperature up quick, so they would pass emission tests better. Mm -hmm. And consequently, when you're using an, a, a gas motor uh, that runs for a long distance, you have to change the cooling system quite a bit to make to make those motors happy. Mm -hmm. When I say happy, to where they run at peak power and don't try to hurt themselves. So uh, there's a lot of changes, you know, that really could have been if this had been designed for a hardcore race head, but it really wasn't so people like us have taken all the weak links and got all the weak links out of it to make it what it is today you know where this this head will probably stand more cylinder pressure and more detonation than anything Chevrolet ever dreamed of having right they you weren't know. planning on that and there was no, no need no, for them to do no. it so uh -huh. uh, yeah I think uh, uh, looking at uh, uh, your heads and uh, you know, where we are using them. We're using them in both LS3 and LS7 application because we're putting in our own port and you know, mm -hmm. we can pick whatever that we want. So right. like for instance, we're using an LS3 style port for Whipples because well, that's how they like to make them. But mm -hmm. uh, you know, typically uh, these engines both are LS7 type. But uh, I guess, uh, uh, you uh, have a little different philosophy, for instance, than GM and others on fasteners. Mm -hmm. The size, mm -hmm. fasteners, and the number, and the quality. You know, maybe uh, you know, that would be something they'd be interested in hearing. Sure, yeah, absolutely. I mean, uh, we all know GM has the uh, torque to yield fasteners. They're all pretty much metric now, and uh, we do offer that, but we also offer it with SAE size fasteners we offer it for with half inch fasteners in the main head bolts uh, on the LS motor the weak link if you blow a head gasket is usually out towards the spark plug side so we have reinforced bosses out for the outboard bosses the bigger you can put in it the better you are the man most of the manufacturers try to use a little eight millimeter fastener that torques at 24 pounds you're just you're kidding yourself you know just strictly kidding yourself that that's helping you it doesn't help you at all uh, so we offer the heads both ways and if if we're building a hardcore cylinder head we talk to the customers such as yourself and well would you consider doing this consider doing that that's going to make it a better part and you guys always agree you know it's just yeah. Uh, you know. Well, we're not looking to make the uh, the cheapest uh, engine. I mean, that's, we're looking to make the best. Then, yeah. So you do what you need to do to make that happen. Uh, that's that's but, correct. Uh, yeah, I think uh, in terms of uh, you know just the, the the short list, it's virgin aerospace grade raw material. That's right. No mm -hmm. remelt. The uh, the quality of the casting design, uh, which encompasses a lot of different elements, uh, the hips processing of the casting, post processing, uh, the fasteners that are employed to hold the heads down, because with engines like that are running the level of boost that these are, like this one up to seventy pounds, yeah, if you don't 
hold the heads down. It's, it's a bad day. <laughs> it's, but. it's fighting with you all the time trying to knock those heads off. Right. So, yeah. So you know, uh, yeah. I think uh, you know, the net result is, is that uh, in working with you over the years, it's, uh, you know, we don't have the problem other people have. They perform great. And uh, you know, we just we just love them. Mm -hmm. And actually, uh, you know, while uh, uh, we're talking about that, uh, hey Marcus, mm. let's bring in uh, Marcus Carew. And uh, you know, Marcus is uh, uh, of course the owner and builder of uh, this little beauty over here. Uh, but you've been running uh, Bob's heads for quite some time. Uh, how's your uh, what do you tell people how your experience has been? Uh, it's been great. I mean, the heads have been great. I mean, um, I mean, of course, the power we made with the motor. Mm -hmm. um, you know, all the valve train and everything's been really good. We haven't had any issues. You know, mm -hmm. I mean, you know, we run 60 pounds of boost in this motor already before. Car's been, you know, motor's been through a wreck. It's got 70 hits on it. And it's the same springs and everything <laughs> still on it. So... You know, I, I know you have that new head that you brought out, I think, last year, the mm -hmm. five. You yeah. know, we mm -hmm. talked about going to it, but it was, you know, changing the intake and everything up for this car. So, you know, I didn't, I think we talked about, you know, it probably wouldn't do a whole lot more, but. No, it wouldn't do a whole lot more. The head's a little, little stronger. Uh, as far as performance, they would be more performance in an NAA application yeah. than there would be for what you're doing. Yeah. Uh, when you put those two puffers on there, it changes <laughs> things quite a bit. Sure, sure. So, you, know, it, you know, there's uh, been a lot of people who's been, you know, they ask about the head because it's an inline, you know, head, mm -hmm. cast inline head, you know, mm -hmm. and I've seen over time people have taken the LS and they try to put these big, big head on it, mm -hmm. and then they put a turbo on it, and they can't spool them, and it's just yeah. been... You know, so a, a lot of people that, that I've talked to, and you know, I just said, look, man, I mean, the head works great. I mean, it's, yeah. I mean, I haven't haven't had anything better in the horsepower we make, and the the, real, the reliability of it has been great. You know, I mean, yeah. um, did a hell of a job on doing them and designing them for sure. Mm -hmm. And uh, thank you for that. That's you know, and, yeah. and, and you know, and, and two, you know, again, it, it's it's you know. Who would have thought this thing would make that kind of horsepower? I know it's phenomenal, isn't it? Yes, it, it, it is, really it is. is, and. So. Uh, they're so, basic rocket ships. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. You know, there's a ton of technology out, but you know, you still you, you have all the geometry and stuff, and the way y'all set the heads up, and mm. you know, with the springs and stuff like that, also. And, uh, yeah, that's it, super critical. It's, yeah, uh, but they've they've been great. I mean, uh, we we got you know the all pro on that car also. Mm -hmm. you know, that's a you know a friend of mine, Kevin, built this for the Bonneville class. You know, okay. and um, you know, a way smaller cubic inch motor, but. I mean, we had it on the dyno, and I mean, it makes great power. Mm -hmm. you know, so, and I hope they they do real well, also. I hope so too. So, what do you have new coming out? Anything new? Uh, not a lot new. Just any refinement that we can find to make it better. Uh, we do that. Uh, as far as making more power, again, you've got to step up into the Dash Five style head. For you, it's not that makes sense to do that. Sure. If you were starting with a complete new build, sure, I would say step that way yeah. because it is a stronger, more robust part. But these things are doing a wonderful job for you. I oh no, they are. Know, yeah. it's, uh, and I really yeah. appreciate. You know, I know I met you here a couple of years ago here at PRI, mm -hmm. and it's, it, it's the relationship's been great. Yeah. And, you know, and the parts have been great. So. You got my you got my vote. All right, so, thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah, good seeing you good again. Good seeing you. Take care. Thank you, Marcus. And uh, another old friend over here is uh, Bill Devine of Bullseye Power Turbo. Hi, Chargers. Bill. Long time good to see, see you. Good. And uh, yeah, Bill, it's like getting an award, has a, okay. a different perspective because. Sorry for my back camera. Uh, yeah, Bill has a different perspective because he's putting his turbochargers on a lot of customers' cars that are running all pro heads. So maybe you could share sure. your experiences. Sure. So, you know, I run a small block Ford, so that's a different animal altogether. No, that's true. Ford's different. <laughs> we'll leave it at that. <laughs> but I do, um, I have a lot of customers, as you know, that um, twin and single turbocharge that run LS platforms and all pro cylinder heads. and. 90 percentile of those guys run really, really well because, you know, they've got a good engine combination. They've obviously got good silver heads. Mm -hmm. um, they've got the right turbos, which is nice. Oh, um, yeah. And, you know, obviously the right engine, prime example, is who was just sitting here talking was uh, Marcus and his yeah. combination. So um, it's been a minute. Yes, it has. <laughs> <laughs>
It has. Your your stuff really actuates actuates it perfectly. You know, it's uh, you you got a good product line. You take care of people. That's that's the main thing I've noticed about you is you put emphasis on getting back with your customers the same day, answering phone calls, taking care of estimates and stuff. And that's so important. That's that's something that's really left out. Uh, when you've got a mom and pop business, they understand how important that is to do things like that. 100%. And some of these big corporations, it's like, eh, I have people call, I call back people the same day, and they said, my God, you returned a phone call. I never get that. And I'm sure you, you're the same I way do. after talking to yeah. you, how you run your business. I know how Borowski does, they're, they're the same way. A great, great group of people to work with. 100%. You know, so. Um, experience with them has been, you know, above and beyond. They're real business people. They do what they say, say what they do. You know, there's times where we have to belly up to the bar, and mm -hmm. that's, you know, that's when it counts. And um, the experience with them on a personal friendship level, business level, both, has just been over the top. Um, right. You know, they do my motors, you probably know now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, at first I said, well, you know, I don't know what I'm going to do. I was having some trouble. And, you know, Marcus said, bring it over to Tim. You know those guys. I mean, they've been a dealer for you for seven years. Bring it over there. And I thought, how does that work? You know, they're a dealer. I bring them the engine. It's, I, you know, I don't want to ruin a good relationship, right? And mm -hmm. it didn't. You know, everything worked just fine. I'm a customer and I'm a vendor. And, you know, they're a customer and they're a vendor. Right. And, uh, you know, because everybody's realistic and, you know, straightforward. That's what makes that work. Mm -hmm. You know, you trust in a relationship is the most important thing. Oh, absolutely. I see that lack with a lot of customer, client, you know, manufacturer, distributor relationships. Absolutely. You've got to have trust in who you're dealing with. Yes, you do. Absolutely. It's so, so, so important. And these guys are so great at what they do. And, boy, it's, you know, like Tim, any, he and I talk back and forth weekly and uh, he's such a good good guy at what he does and, yes you know he's very well experienced yeah he's light years ahead of guys that might have 20 years on him mm -hmm. um and you know you meet him and he'll fool you say man he's a young guy he's mm -hmm. a young guy and he's got more experience you know in that amount of time than guys mm -hmm. twice his age some of them well he's a young guy compared to you and i correct <laughs> but yeah, he's, no, well he's not a babe in the woods no by definitely, any not. Means, so. definitely not You're, too kind, both of you. We right. appreciate it. Uh, yeah, and uh, you know, right now, what I'd like to do is see if anybody in the uh, uh, online audience has any questions for any one of us. Uh, all right. The all Pro Bullseye Power uh, Turbochargers. So, uh, uh, Tim, any uh, questions? Uh, coming no questions. Okay. All right. Well, uh, definitely appreciate you uh, coming in, getting yeah. on camera. So. Bill, always a pleasure to see you. And, uh, you're, you're a veteran at this now. Uh, Bill was up yesterday. Get there. So, uh, oh, okay. <laughs> he's been in our shop, and he's ha been having to do the, the 60 second hits. Uh -huh. uh, we turned them into a one take wonder before it was all over. Yeah, and it took 100 tries, but they, they got me there. <laughs> they got you there. So, all right, well, thank you, folks. Yeah.